If you're considering starting Accutane or isoretinoin for your acne, you might be looking for the potential side effects you may encounter. As an optometrist, I'm especially concerned with how Accutane or isoretinoin can affect the eye, and in today's video, we'll go over the ocular side effects of Accutane therapy. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. You've made it to eye school with me, Dr. D. In today's lesson, we're covering the wide variety of ocular side effects seen with Accutane therapy. This channel is all about eye education. I try to bring you the latest and greatest in eye education, but it's also about communities. I would love nothing more than for you to share your experiences and your expertise with Accutane therapy for acne down in the comments below and whether or not it had an impact on your eyes so that we can all learn from each other and share stories. And if you have a friend or relative this information could help, this video is easily shared right here from YouTube. Okay, let's get started. Accutane is the brand name of the drug isoretinoin. It also goes by many other names, so you may be taking another version. Isoretinoin is used to treat a type of severe acne called nodular acne, and nodular acne is typically going to cause red, swollen, tender lumps in the skin, and it can lead to permanent scarring. Dermatologists are the ones who are actually going to prescribe isoretinoin, but it may be a good idea to have a baseline eye evaluation before starting the medicine as well. And it may even be beneficial to have an eye exam every few months while on it, especially if you're symptomatic, to monitor for eye conditions that are known to occur with isoretinoin use. So here are some known side effects of isoretinoin on the eyes. It's important to remember that not all of these side effects happen for everyone, but just knowing about them and being careful to watch for symptoms may help save your sight in some cases. So first of all, dry eye. Dry eyes and dry skin are extremely common with isoretinoin use. I talk more about this in another video about retinol which I'll link here, but basically retinol works by inhibiting sebaceous glands. And while we're happy about that in the case of your acne, when it comes to your meibomian glands, which are also sebaceous glands, this is problematic because those glands are very important in producing some of the layers of your tears, the top oily layer, in fact. Sometimes the dry eye from isoretinoin use goes away, but other times it can remain, even years later. So in my clinic, I recently had a 16-year-old patient who had just finished Accutane, isoretinoin, and noted increased styes in her eyes. She kept getting these bumps in her eyelids. And when we imaged her glands, they were extremely shortened and atrophied from that isoretinoin use. On this patient, I ended up doing IPL, and she's become less symptomatic, and her gland appearance has improved. She's also been able to not have any more styes since we did the treatment. If you do suffer from dry eyes prior to taking Accutane, I would recommend seeing a dry eye specialist who can image those meibomian glands prior to treatment and then throughout the process of being on isoretinoin. That way they can start you on therapy um, sooner than later if you're starting to have meibomian gland atrophy. The second thing to talk about with isoretinoin used is increased intracranial pressure or pseudotumor cerebri, or what we sometimes call idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Accutane use, isoretinoin use, can cause increased pressure on the brain, which can lead to permanent vision loss. So I made a video about pseudotumor cerebri, a case I saw, not an Accutane isoretinoin case, but a, a pseudotumor case. But pseudotumor, very simply put, is when you make too much fluid on your brain, cerebral spinal fluid, causing increased pressure within your head, causing optic nerve swelling, and it can lead to permanent visual loss. I've seen cases of pseudotumor cerebri causing optic nerve swelling from isoretinoin use in the past in rather young people who might not otherwise be at risk for pseudotumor cerebri. The third way isoretinoin affects the eyes is vision trouble. Blurry vision, double vision, and even tunnel vision. Decreased ability to drive at night due to decreased dark adaptation. Fortunately, these side effects tend to disappear within months after isoretinoin use is discontinued. Say isoretinoin 10 times fast, oh my gosh. <laughs> 
But this is a documented side effect. So if you're on Accutane and you start having difficulty seeing to drive at night, that is a documented side effect, but luckily that one normally does go away. In addition, cataracts can form after isoretinoin use. There's been scattered reports that have appeared regarding cataracts in young patients, so teens to early 40s, which develop during and or after Accutane treatment. So when lens material is examined from those patients who had cataract extraction, their lens proteins actually showed an elevation in UV absorptivity compared with matched controls. Um, so there is a difference in what's happening in the lens of your eye, which can lead to cataracts. There's a, literally a difference in the lens protein samples derived from cataracts not associated with Accutane therapy versus ones associated with Accutane therapy. And finally, one other thing to mention that may affect the eyes is that we know that Accutane isoretinoin can affect your blood sugar and cause blood sugar issues. Because it can cause blood sugar issues and even diabetes, it's worth noting in this, this discussion that since diabetes can also have an effect on the eyes, if you've taken isoretinoin and it led to a diagnosis of diabetes that was sustained, it would be advantageous to have an eye exam. So sometimes you might be asking yourself, okay, are these eye problems going to stay with me or is it possible that they would go away? And the answer to that is that I don't exactly know. Some of the issues that occur with the eyes when you're on isoretinoin stay and others resolve after stopping treatment. But I would say that patients on Accutane therapy should be carefully monitored. Ultimately, my best advice is to have an eye exam before you start taking isoretinoin and then follow the advice of your doctor in terms of having follow-up examinations at regular intervals while you're on the medication. I hope that helped with understanding some of the things that can happen to your eyes when you're on Accutane. Again, this doesn't mean that any of these will happen to you or that all of these will happen to you, but it's always good to have that knowledge and know what to look out for. That's going to be it for today's iSchool lesson. I'll see you next time. Class is dismissed.